Good morning. I'm Howard Lux, an orthopedist in New York who's fairly socially active. It was an interesting discussion through a Twitter stream with a number of people, and I'll include some of those tweets in the uh, blog post which will accompany this. We discussed the issue of KOLs, or key opinion leaders and influencers in the digital space, and what's perhaps their purposes in terms of helping pharma and guiding brands or providing information to patients and people. And we went back and forth, and there were a lot of interesting conversations and discussions, a lot of interesting points brought up, some of which I agree with, some of which I don't. Am I a key opinion leader? I don't know. Perhaps. That's really more important for you to determine. Am I an influencer? Perhaps. Again, I think that's more important for you to determine than for me to determine. Am I here to guide brands? Am I here to recommend brands? Am I here to push a brand or hurt a brand? No. Am I here to educate you? Yes. Am I on board uh, social media and making these videos and content available to you to improve your level of understanding, to collaborate with colleagues through closed platforms like Doximity so that we can discuss a case and I can hopefully improve the care that I offer you? Yes. Am I trying to push the envelope in terms of using these new digital technologies to, again, so I can improve your level of understanding, your care, your ability to make proper medical decisions? Yes. Am I using this to push those platforms or get you to utilize them? Maybe, but it's for your behalf. It's to improve your knowledge, your understanding, your understanding of what's available to you to help you navigate this space. That is why I might be an influencer. That is why I might be a key opinion leader. I'm not here to quash a brand. I'm not here uh, to uh, simply tell you what total knee replacement to use or what replacement not to use or what medication to use. So are physician influencers important in this space? Yes, but I think it's predominantly to teach others just how simple this process actually is and how meaningful it is. This is not a time suck. This is not something that takes too much of my time. And if I can educate one person and prevent them from having a useless operation, or if I can help any and all of my patients improve their level of understanding, I've done my job. If I can reach out and teach one or two or five other physicians how easy it is and have them help their patients too, I'm happy. I've done my job. I've been an influencer. I've influenced those physicians and shown them the value propositions of a deep social media presence. That is my goal in being a key opinion leader or an influencer. If I'm judged in, in another manner uh, by someone who's viewing this, so be it. I love talking. I love reaching out to audiences. The larger the audience, the better, simply because we can spread the message far and wide. Social media and healthcare is here to stay. Social media and healthcare is not a passing fad. It's not going away. Patients are online. I'm hearing from patients from 40 countries each and every week and helping many of them. Helping them understand their conditions, helping them alleviate their fear, clear that windshield of doubt. And I'm using it to humanize my presence, humanize my organization, make you more comfortable, and make the whole process a little easier. Am I letting you know about these platforms that exist? Yes. Why? Because uh, I cannot do this alone. You cannot do, do this alone. Visual communications is just important as written communications, such as email or text-based messages. And it's all good. It's all to help improve the healthcare system. Have a phenomenal day. Bye.